G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching Friends episodes 15 and 16 and I am very excited once again. This is still my favourite part of the week. I have a lot of laughs. I love this flippin' show. Without further ado, let's jump into it. And a nice hot cider from Monica. Rach, why does my cinnamon stick have an eraser? Wait, 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 what? Oh, that's why. <laughs> Oh, ew. <laughs> I wouldn't drink that after something like that happened. It only makes me wonder how many other things have fallen into people's mugs that Rachel has served. Miss Tedlock, you're looking lovely today. May I say that is a very flattering sleeve length on you? <laughs> Mr. Kostelik would like you to stop by his office at the end of the day. If this is about those prank memos, I had nothing to do with them, really. <laughs> what? Pulling out the chicken? <laughs> Chandler's coming. He has like this incredible news. So when he gets here, it's all act like, you know, never mind. But it was going to be really good. Aww, that's so sad. Big Al calls me into his office. He wants to make me processing supervisor. That is awesome. Ooh, fancy. So, I quit. Wait. Wait, wait, what? This was supposed to be a temp job. You've been there for five years. And if I took this promotion, it would be like admitting that this is what I actually do. Just don't want to be one of those guys that's in his office until 12 o'clock at night worrying about the weenus. Uh, um. <laughs> the, the weenus? Weekly estimated net usage systems processing term. That is not a good name for it. Oh, that weenus. <laughs> <laughs> Easy mistake. I don't know what I want to do. I just know I'm not going to figure it out working there. I have hmm. something you can do. That's very understandable. Watch client, Steve. He's looking for a head chef. Um. Hi there. Yeah, Monica's the chef. I know, and I thought of you first, but Chandler's the one who needs a job right now, so. Oh, what? <laughs> well, what kind of food is he looking for? Well, he wants to do something eclectic. He's looking for someone who can create the entire menu. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. So what do you think? Oh, poor Monica. I just don't really see myself in a big white hat. Okay. Monica, guess what? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> she has such good intent, but like, oh my goodness. Can you see my nipples through this shirt? <laughs> That's so random. Um, no. But don't worry, I'm sure they're still there. <laughs> Where are you going, Mr. Sooty Man? I have an appointment to see Dr. Robert Pillman. A go-go. <laughs> I added the go go. Yeah, we figured. You guys all know what you want to do. I don't. Hey, you guys in the living room all know what you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you have goals, you have dreams. I don't have a dream. Uh, the lesser known, I don't have a dream speech. <laughs> oh, I love my life. I love my life. A oh, Brian song. <laughs> the meeting with that guy went great. So great. He showed me where the restaurant's going to be. Cute little place on 10th Street. It's not too big, it's not too small. It's just right. Was it formerly okay. owned by a blonde woman and some bears? Oh. <laughs> so anyway, I'm cooking dinner for him Monday night. Kind of like an audition. And Phoebe, he really wants you to be here, which would be great. You can ooh and ah and make yummy noises. What are you going to make? Yummy noises? I know. Oh, the food, Phoebe. <laughs> I know what you can make. I know. You can make that thing, you know, with the stuff. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know what that is. <laughs> with, the, with the stuff? Okay, I don't know. Aw, she tried. Does anyone know a good date place in the neighborhood? Uh, how about Tony's? If you can finish a 32 ounce steak, it's free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, does anyone know a good place if you're not dating a puma? <laughs> Who are you going out with? Is this the bug lady? No, no, I love you, Ross. I thought that was Janice. <laughs> It's not a bug lady. It's curator of insects at the museum. So what are you guys going to do? I, know, I just thought we'd go out to dinner and then bring her back to my place. I'd introduce her to my monkey. That is totally normal. He's not speaking metaphorically. <laughs> back to your place. You can maybe... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> that monkey is a chick magnet. He's going to take one look at his furry, cute little face and seal the deal. <laughs> oh no! Soothing tones, Siri. Soothing, soothing, soothing tones. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't stand okay, this. Good. Yeah, all right. Oh my goodness. I didn't think we'd jump straight to it. Hey, she's the actress um, in 17 again and The Office, isn't she? Try this salmon mousse. Good. Yeah? Is it better than the other salmon mousse? It's creamier. Well, is that better? I don't know. We're talking about whipped fish, Monica. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just happy I'm keeping it down, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> 
eight and a half hours of aptitude tests. What do I learn? You were ideally suited for a career in data processing for a large multinational corporation. Oh, dang. That is discouraging. Because you already know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I seem like somebody who should be doing something really cool? Chandler, I know. Oh, hey. You, you can't can. see your nipples through this shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Thanks, Rachel. Maybe this will cheer you up. I had a grape about five hours ago, so I better split this with you. <laughs> it's supposed to be that small. It's a pre-appetizer. French call it an amuse-bouche. Well, it, it is amusing. <laughs> oh, hi, Wendy. Yeah, 8 o'clock. Okay, great. All right, I'll see you then. Oh, I asked one of the waitresses at work if she'd help me out. Waitressing? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Of course I thought of you. No, 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 no. But... Yeah. But, Rachel isn't good. <laughs> this night has to go just perfect. Oh, oh my and gosh. Wendy's more of a professional waitress. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. That works. I said I've sort of been maintaining my amateur status that I can waitress in the Olympics. Oh my goodness. Rachel, don't take it badly. But I waited tables at Innsbruck in 76. <laughs> <laughs> a moose bouche How can you not love having Chandler in your friendship circle? I'd be cracking up every few seconds. Oh. Hello. Well, obviously the monkey works. <laughs> Talk dirty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ross is not that kind of guy. Um, what? Um, ooh. <laughs> um, Ross? Volvo. Nice. <laughs> Volvo. All right, I panicked. She took me by surprise. Wasn't a total loss. I mean, ended up cuddling. Oh. Whoa, you cuddled? How many times? <laughs> I just don't think I'm the dirty talking kind of guy. You just say what you want to do to her. What you think other people might be doing to each other. <laughs> come, on, come on, try something on me. Oh no, this is going to look so bad. Please be kidding. Just close your eye, tell me what you'd like to be doing right now. <laughs> I'm in my apartment. Yeah, what else? That's it, I'm in my apartment having this conversation. <laughs> he couldn't do it. Oh, Ross. <laughs> don't use that voice. You get me so hot, I want your lips on me now. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's so proud of it. Now you say something. I really don't think so. <laughs> I love that Joey's being such a good mate. Well, if you can't talk dirty to me, how are you going to talk dirty to her? Now tell me you want to caress my butt. <laughs> okay, turn around. I don't want you staring at me when I'm doing this. Okay. I want him. Feel your hot, soft skin with my lips. There you go. Solid. Oh, good going. <laughs> I, uh... No! Oh! I want to take my tongue and... <laughs> and... Say it. Say it! Run it all over your body until you... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> the slow turn. <laughs> yes. Yes. With <laughs> Chandler's like, keep going. Always rooting for you two kids to get together. <laughs> While you were sleeping, that guy from your old job called again. Hey, Mr. Kostelik, how's life on the 15th floor? Well, that's very generous. This isn't about the money. And that's on top of the year end bonus structure. Damn, um, dude, you live in New York. You need this. I'm not playing hardball here, okay? This is not a negotiation. Minute. No. No, you've got the wrong guy. I'll see you Monday. <laughs> yes, there's always a price. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you live in New York. How could? How are you even living there unless you have a solid job with paying a lot of money? It's huge. Hey. You have a window. Uh, with a good view. Beautiful view of. Oh look, that guy's peeing. <laughs> hey, that's enough of the view. Okay, sit down here. Sit. Okay. This is great. This is great. <laughs> He's so excited. Helen, could you come in here for a moment? <laughs> oh, she is not amused. Thank you, Helen. That'll be all. Aww. Last time I do that, I promise. <laughs> Wendy, we had a deal. Yeah, you promised. Wendy. Oh, no. Rachel's going to have to fill in. Who is that? Wendy Bale. I have no waitress. That's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so $10, mean. $10, $12 an hour. I wish I could, but I've made plans to walk around. But when you ran out of your wedding, I was there for you. That means nothing to you. $20 an hour. Dang. Done. How <laughs> How do they have the option of not working? I don't understand. Hello, welcome to Monica's. May 
I take your coat? Nice. Hello, Monica. Hello, greet her girl. This is Rachel. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this guy is a very arrogant dude, okay. Can't remember a time I smelled such a delicious combination. Okay, smells. <laughs> a lovely apartment. Here, well, would you like a tour? I, I was just being polite, but all right. <laughs> In the cab on the way over, Steve blazed up a doobie. So, sorry, what? Smoked a joint, you know, lit a bone, hemp, ganja. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, we get it. <laughs> Is it dry in here? <laughs> Let me get you some wine. Rock shrimp ravioli, zoo sauce, with just a touch of mint. Oh, no. <laughs> well, smack my ass and call me Judy. <laughs> <laughs> so out of the blue. These are fantastic. I'm so glad you like them. I could eat a hundred of them. Well? Um, eight and a half minutes, we'll be serving some delicious onion tartlets. 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 <laughs> tartlets. <laughs> yeah, this guy's gone. <laughs> oh, no. Excuse me. Can, can I help you with anything? I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, my goodness, mate. <laughs> Cool taco shells. You know what? Oh no. You don't want to spoil your appetite. Oh, the sugar rolls. If you just wait another six and a half minutes. Oh, oh this is going terribly. Hey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, give me the gummy bears. No. <laughs> He's like a little child. I will share. No, give me the bears. Well, then you can't no. have any. Give them the oh, oh, bears. Oh, oh my goodness, this guy is a fruitcake. Hey, dinner is over. What? Why? Why? I've waited seven years for an opportunity like this. You can't even wait four and a half minutes for a stupid onion tartlet. Hey. <laughs> nice. Maybe this can still work out. You don't want to work for a guy like that. Mm. Yeah, that's true. I just thought that this was, you know, it. An amazing chef. You know all those yummy noises? I wasn't faking. <laughs> Yeah, Phoebe doesn't lie. Uh, how'd it go with Celia? I was unbelievable. For us. I mean, they were <laughs> characters, plot lines. Well, thanks to Joey. At one point, they were villagers. <laughs> oh, and, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, by the time we finished with all the dirty talk, it was kind of late. And... You cuddled. Yeah, which was nice. Oh, my goodness, Ross. You guys want to try to catch a late movie or something? Oh. Maybe, but shouldn't we wait for Chandler? Where the hell is he? I know what time it is, but I'm looking at the weenus, and I'm not happy. <laughs> Yep, it's already taking a toll. You will care about it because I care about it. Got it? Good. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, he had a realization. He's like, oh no, I shouldn't be here. <laughs> Does this hurt? No. How about this? Ah! <laughs> there you go. Ah! Is this on purpose to make him suffer? All right, let's go straight into episode 16 because I don't have really anything to say about that episode at the moment. <laughs> this is unbelievable. It's been like a half an hour. Here's the waitress. Excuse me, miss. That's Wait. Phoebe. Oh, <gasps> Phoebe. Hi. Damn. What are you doing here? I was over there and then you said, excuse me, hello, miss. I'm Phoebe. <laughs> How come you're working here? Because it's close to where I live and the aprons are really cute. <laughs> Can we start over? Yeah. Okay, great. I'm going to be over here. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't understand how she managed to be so like just aloof, just up in the clouds. She's so sweet though. I don't know whether he's testing me, just acting out. A monkey is out of control. <laughs> Dude, you have to get rid of that monkey. He got to the newspaper before I did. Peed all over the crossroad. I've never done that. Yeah. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> look at her and tell me she doesn't look exactly like her sister. I see a difference. They're twins. He's Phoebe. Ursula's. Wait, what? Phoebe has a sister? Guess who we saw today? Oh, fun! Okay, weren't we safer? Nope. The woman who cuts my hair! This could be a really long game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your sister Ursula. Oh, really? <laughs> Griffs, yeah, I know. Oh! Is she fat? Not from where I was standing. <laughs> where were you standing? <laughs> You guys just don't get along. Mostly just dumb sister stuff. Everyone always thought of her as the pretty one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she was the first one to start walking, even though I did it later that same day. Oh, that's... My parents, by then it was like, yeah, right, well, what else is new? Oh, that's so mean. Is this just going to be you and Carol? Susan's going to be there, too. We've got dads, got lesbian, whole parenting team. Oh, man. So complicated. I, I think I'm pretty comfortable with the whole situation. That's my jacket. I know. <laughs> No, Ross is definitely not comfortable yet. And we're having a boy and a girl. Good for <laughs> you. The next. Oh, no. That's, that's my boy in there. This is Carol Willick. This is Susan Bunch. Susan is um Carol's just 
Okay, when you're uncomfortable, it makes it makes it uncomfortable, you know? But just say it normally and it, it won't feel as weird. Okay, Susan is... Susan's Carol's Carol's friend. Life partner. Buddies. Like lovers. You know how close women can get. Oh, dude. Although I was married to her. Carol, not me. It's a little complicated. A little. But we're fine. Absolutely. Oh, gosh. That's like two birds. Wait. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Okay, send her in. How long is he gonna be doing this for before he gives up, hey? Hi. Nina, come on in. You wanted to see me? I'm post-dating your Friday numbers. Which is bad. Well, it throws my weenus out of whack. <laughs> Excuse me? Weekly estimated net usage. Oh, net use. usage is gotcha. Oh my goodness. I wouldn't want to do anything to hurt your weenus. <laughs> Why would they even go with that name? It's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's not just that she's cute, okay? It's just, she's really, really cute. If you don't dip your pen in the company ink. Oh, I see. Okay. Your little creature's got the remote again. Marcel, Marcel, give Rossi the remote. <laughs> you give Rossi the remote right now. Does this monkey ever listen, though? Urkel <laughs> in Spanish is Urkel. Well done, Rach. Is leaving the Christmas lights up part of your plan? Keep us merry all year long? Someone was supposed to take them down around New Year. Someone forgot. Someone was supposed to write, Rach, take down the light, put it on the ref refrigerator. Ha <laughs> ha How long has that been there? Hey, where you been? I went back to Riffs. I think Ursula likes me. All I ordered was coffee. She brought me a tuna melt and four plates of curly fries. Oh, dang. That's generous. Score. <laughs> She is so hot. Might want to run it by you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Do you think it would be okay if I asked out your sister? Why? Oh. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> so that if we went out on a date, she'd be there. Yeah. That was a Phoebe response. <laughs> that was great. It's true. We were one egg once. <laughs> Grown apart. So uh, why not? Thanks. Oh, Joey. She's obviously not okay with it. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Do you want to watch Laverne E. Shirley? Say. It is nice seeing them just as friends without any sort of romantic vibes, just being cute. Hi. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Where's Carol? <clears throat> Stuck at school. You can go. No. <laughs> I think we should both know what's going on. Oh, boy. This'll be fun. Mummies, why don't you get on your back? Which is, you should be supporting Mummy's head. Oh, man. This is gonna be awkward. <laughs> Wait, what? What's going on? I am supposed to be the mommy. Okay, I'm gonna play my sperm card one more time. Are you serious? Hold up. Yes. I don't see why I should have to miss out on the coaching training just because I'm a woman. So what do you propose to do? Yeah, I will flip you for it. Heads, heads. Are you serious? On your back, mom. Oh, this is mean. <laughs> Imagine your vagina is opening. <laughs> But he doesn't need this coaching, right? It's her that needs the coaching, hey. We're gonna be laying off people in every department. Listen, I know I came in late last week. Not you. Ever have to fire anyone? Nina? Oh, no. Nina? Nina? <laughs> oh. Hey, why are you touching yes. his leg? Yes, I am. Hold up. The reason that I called you in here today, please don't hate me. What? Would you like to have dinner sometime? Oh, Chandler! What I really want is for my mom to be alive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, bath salts would be nice. Oh, okay. Helen Hunt? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what is this place? What's she doing here? This could be God's way of telling us to eat at home. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're gonna get him confused. It's her, right? <laughs> it looks like her. Excuse me? Yeah, it's us. <laughs> right, and it's me. Oh, if they can't tell a difference, that means they have the equal beauty, right? <laughs> We know what we want. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and some biscotti cookies. Good choice. <laughs> oh, they think she's working. Right. It's definitely her. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell the difference at the start because they both have this very similar personality. It seems, so far. They might be very different. You still haven't told that girl she doesn't have a job yet? Well, you still haven't taken down the Christmas lights. Congratulations, I think you found the world's thinnest argument. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to find the right moment, you know? You had the best moment. You were in the office. But how about a quickie before I go to work? Yeah. Hey. Hey. You know, once you're inside, you don't have to knock anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Monica. Hi, Mr. Heckles. You're doing it again. We're, we're just sitting around talking. I hmm? can hear you through the ceiling. Doing what? My cats can't sleep. You don't even have cats. I could have cats. <laughs> That's right. We'll try to keep it down. What were they doing? Can you do me a favor? Can you try this on? I just want to make sure it fits. Oh, my first birthday present. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's, it's, it's for Ursula. I just figured, you know, size-wise. Uh... Sure, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I hate that. Phoebe, can you try something for me so your sister can have it? I like her, you know? She's different. There's something about her. That you like. We get it. You like her. Great. Oof. I asked you and you said it was okay. Maybe now it's not okay. Well, maybe now I'm not okay with it not being okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> e this has got really complicated. Knit, good woman. Knit, knit. <laughs> <laughs> Break the silence. Oh, no, Chandler. And that's the Chrysler building right there. Nina. Mr. Oh, Douglas. Oh no, she's gonna find out here. She's still here. Yes, yes, she is. After I let her go, her psychiatrist, Dr. Flane, and, and <laughs> she took the news rather badly. He mentioned the word frenzy. She seems so. Oh no, no, Nina, she is woo. She would have no recollection of being fired at all. That's unbelievable. And yet believable. <laughs> I guess you never really know what's going on inside a person's head. Well, I guess that's why they call it psychology, sir. <laughs> Mom and Dad is the miracle of birth. And that's having a baby. Susan, go deep. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is such a dad thing to do, though. I am not doing that. Uh -huh. It'll just stay in. Everything's going to be all right. Oh, what do you know? No one's going up to you and saying, is that your nostril? Mind if we push this pot roast through it? <laughs> Goodness, girl. Cleansing breath. The birth part is just one day. <laughs> We're all gonna be parents for the rest of our lives. I mean, that's what this is all about. Oh Ross? no. <laughs> the reality's hit him. I'm gonna be a father. Is it just occurring yeah. to you? I always knew I was having a baby. Just never realized the baby was having me. Oh, okay. I can't even get Marcel to stop eating the bath mat. Dude, it's a monkey. Some scientists are now saying that monkeys and babies are actually different. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where are you going? Out. With? Yes. Can I just ask you one question? Have you two, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that it's any of your business, but no, we haven't. You met sex, right? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow he doesn't get the cue for, for sex for some reason throughout the show. For the past couple days, people have been avoiding me. Oh, well, uh, maybe that's because jealous of us. Chandler explain why they keep taking my scissors uh, because you're getting a big raise <laughs> i am sure why not <laughs> you're amazing oh no send her psychological profile to personnel what helen drinks will you marry me <laughs> i feel like this is borderline like manipulative i don't like it he's just lying to her it's all stupid ursula thing so he's going out with her i mean is it really so terrible yeah well do you want to explain She's always breaking my stuff. When I was eight and I wouldn't let her have my Judy Jetson thermos, so she threw it under the bus. Oh, and then there's Randy Brown, who was like, have you ever had a boyfriend who was like your best friend? No. no. Oh, that is very sad. That's what he was for me. And she, you know, kind of stole him away and then Aww. broke his heart. And then he wouldn't even talk to me. He said he didn't want to be around anything that looked like either one of us. Oh. I mean, I know Joey is not my boyfriend. But you love him as a friend. You're not gonna lose him. You gotta talk to Joey. If he knew how you felt. No, but he's falling in love with her. They've been going out a week. They haven't even slept together. It's not serious. Uh. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, you gotta do something now. Oh, please don't find them having sex. Oh, yeah. Um, may we help you? Oh. Uh... It's the same person, but with just different makeup and styles and whatnot. What are you doing? It's freezing out here. Would you come back inside? <laughs> I'm okay. I'm oh my goodness. <laughs> Mr. Hickles, could you, could you help me, please? See, this is just the kind of thing I was talking about. <laughs> goodness, Mr. Hickles. <laughs> Well, that was a fun couple episodes. We got some more insight into Phoebe's past, which was very satisfying. I always love when we get more information on the characters and their history. Um, yeah, I, I was completely um, convinced that at the beginning of that scene that that was Phoebe in the bar. Um, I, did, <laughs> I just didn't even think that that would be her sister, which is which is funny. Um, but yeah, no, I am. Um, I found it interesting the whole conflict there i wonder if we're going to see more of phoebe's sister throughout the show possibly or um there'll be more conflicts there i'm just very curious because that was probably one of the first times i've seen phoebe be genuinely like very uncomfortable and quite like in distress about the whole situation um which you know was a bit shocking because normally phoebe's a lot more positive um so yeah i'm just very interested to see where that's going to go in the future i was a little bit disappointed with chandler in the episode i feel like um 
he was stringing her along, that, that girl he was working with, when he just needed to tell her that she was fired, which is, yeah, look, it's, if you wanted to go out with her, just be like, hey, sorry, like, up from up above, they've told me I have to let you go, blah, 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 blah. Despite that, <laughs> would you like to go out with me? Um, you know, if she says no, which is likely, then it's like, whatever. But don't not tell her that you're fired and then, you know, try to, you know, have sex with them. That's horrible. That's ba like, I think Rachel said it right. Basically like, oh, you just wanted to be around for a quickie and then, and then fire her. It's like, that's kind of what it felt like. It felt like he was trying to use them, use her as long as he could before having to fire her, which is very upsetting. Um, but yeah, it is, it is, it's, it's happened. It's, it's in the past now. Um, <laughs> I'm sure the, all the characters make mistakes like that here or there. Yeah, I, I like those two episodes. It felt very light. There wasn't too much heavy sort of stuff going on in those episodes. It felt very quick to me, um, but I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to watching episodes 17 and 18. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching it with me. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I did. Please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.